of Aries. This is going to be for Aries Twin Flames, soulmates, deep love connections, deep soulmate connections, um, divine masculine, divine feminine. So Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June or whenever you watch this. Oh, we got an Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new beginning and um, King of Cups being in control of your emotions. It's also feeling the love I'm hearing. All right, so give me one for Aries Divine Feminine. Knight of Cups. Okay, so there was a love offer, either received or... I feel like you're offering your love. You're giving your love. You, yeah, Six of Pentacles, okay? But, but staying balanced. And there's the dragon. The dragon energy has been around for the last few weeks. I'd say like a month. That's what they just said anyway. Um, helping Twin Flames push through this like this energy going on. Um, yeah, removing the obstacles, okay? I do feel like you are opening up. Yeah, see, this, this says empathy, okay? You're opening yourself up towards somebody else, to somebody else, giving your cup to your masculine. So let's see, give me the one card for the counterpart here. Queen of Wands. I heard someone very sexy, okay? Someone um, that you, yeah, I had a vision of, and Gemini got that, that song Last month, I believe. The Vision of Love by Mariah Carey. Okay, this is someone that you're extremely attracted to. Okay, it says determination or someone that's very determined to get to see, to get you, to connect with you. Okay, this is the Divine Feminine, feminine Energy, Divine Masculine Energy. Oh, this gets, look, and then we have the Empress down here. All right, so let's see what the connection is here. Four of Cups. Okay, so there could be like a little bit of um, longing. Yeah, there's definitely a conversation that's needing to happen. Okay, somebody's waiting for it. I do feel like a, a, a new beginning, an offer of some sort has come in. Okay, you guys are wanting to move, move past. Um, yeah, leave the past in the past. See how she's saying goodbye to the past. She's letting it go. She's moving forward. Focus on building something new. Okay, so some of you could be meeting someone new. And just remember that the energy can be vice versa here. I definitely feel, though, that a conversation, um, what the pause is about, they're saying what's being avoided is a, is a, is a real conversation here. But whoever you're connecting with is, like, super sexy, okay? Like, you're really, there's a lot of attraction here. All right, give me one card for Divine Feminine. Healing Family Issues. So this could be who you're opening up your, your um, it's like you're just being loving towards people in your family, offering assistance to those in your family. You know, maybe people just need your extra support. Yeah, there's like, some people could be dealing with some addictions or just um, mental health issues. Uh, they're just whatever. And you're healing. You're healing inner child issues. You're just opening yourself up to love. Okay, the divine feminine in this connection. Yeah, after heartache. Yeah, you're staying in the moment, moving forward cautiously, but but being open, and I feel like it's because you're being open after this heartache, this is what's bringing in a lot of healing for you. It's like you're ready to put your, your, your heart out there again, and it's coming because you're doing so much inner work. All right, give me one card for the Divine Masculine. Okay, we're getting two. Look, told you, conversation. Unrequited love. There's there's things left unsaid. This divine masculine definitely wants to speak to the feminine here. Okay, wanting to make things right. Yeah, 
keep an open mind. He could have, um, you guys could be very different, which is not unique in regards to um, twin flame connections, all right? Usually there's huge differences in them, either, you know, age differences, religious differences, um, maybe you live in different countries, or there's just like a separation, could be an age difference, one of you could be extremely wealthy, and the other one, like, isn't, it's um, just different, there's huge differences and this could have been what see and this person's like super sexy so it's like they probably could have had their pick of the litter and they didn't pick you before okay but this person wants to talk to you now yeah i'm hearing uh john lee hooker i got my eyes on you this person's watching you all right, one card for the connection. Oh, look, release your ex, okay? Trust and reconciliation. I was holding the deck upside down. So um, if this reconciliation hasn't happened, this is what's being thought about, okay? Definitely by your person over here, or the divine masculine, because I don't know which side you're on, but... Um, yeah. Where's this connection headed? Yeah. Look, express your love. Told you. All right. So let's get some advice. I'm kind of obsessed with these new cards. Give me some advice for this connection for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Twin flames. Have faith. Look, laugh at your demons. So it's like, which I feel is what's going on over here in this feminine energy. It's like you're learning, you're healing from your past. It's like you see where you've gone wrong and it's just like, all right, I'm never doing that again. Okay. And so you're just opening yourself back up for love. It's like no, no point in, in being stuck in the past. It's like you're over that. Look, again, laugh at your demons. All right. One more. Face your adversities. Adversary. Adversities. Stress, either physiological or biological, is an organism response to a stress as such as an environmental condition. Do you want me to keep reading? Okay, so this is um, coming over on the divine masculine side. So there could be people opposed to what this masculine is doing, okay? And um, he's being challenged, like it's part of his lesson, this divine masculine's lesson, whether he's a he or she, to stand up to um, the blocks within this connection, this, stand up to the things, to face the things that um, he wasn't willing to um, release before. It's it's like, yeah, that's, that's and, and look, admit your vulnerability. The over it's like both of you have to both of you and both of you need to ask for help i'm hearing okay and have faith ask for help to this 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 connection is is on pause for you may even be talking you may see each other but um there's uh an expression of love that's coming it hasn't yeah. Children. And look, here's the honeymoon card. This is my card, but for now in two months, like this is a face to face conversation. This is spending time with this person. I mean, I guess now because of this whole Corona thing, it's like maybe you do a Skype call or something or zoom, whatever. But, um, this is like the third card down. So could possibly be a little bit past the two months. So let's see, this is June, July, August, that's August. So between now and August. This is going to be coming together here. There's um, releasing of the past, you, you both are doing as well, okay? You're learning to laugh at these things that used to keep you stuck before. Growing, both of you are growing here. 
you know, in this divine masculine as he faces like his own demons. All right. You're both pretty much mirroring each other, but it's like it's different issues going on within both of you. There you go, Aries. Sounds good. I'll see you next month. Bye. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and just check out my description box. All my information is down there. Bye, guys. I'll see you next month.